Hi everyone, Kath here from Kafata Bunny Bot Online and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a landing page on GetResponse. So we all have autoresponders. Um, the autoresponder I use is GetResponse, so I'm going to show you how to make a landing page on GetResponse because they have a variety of landing page templates which makes your life really, really easy and it's really nice and simple to customise. I'm basically going to show you how to um, create a landing page What and it, what it will include is how to customize your landing page or get response, how to choose a landing page URL and how to 10x your income. So I'm going to show you some really cool things that I do to 10x my income. If you want to take a closer look at the simple um, lead page and lead magnet that I am using to get hu huge conversions, um, I've left the link in there also. And if you stay to the end of the video, as a present, I'm going to give you a free affiliate marketing course, eight modules completely free of charge, just for staying the end of the video. Okay, so what is a landing page? You may ask or you may know. A landing page basically is the same as a squeeze page and it's a one page website basically. Okay, and literally um, it tends to include a headline, um, a call to action, so a call to action button, um, fields that, such as your name and your email address, and then a picture, possibly, not always, sometimes, and privacy policy, terms and conditions, contact, and income disclaimer, because your privacy is extremely important. It always contains that. And here is an example of a landing page I did, and I'll show you the offer which I'm promoting. It's very, very important. The landing page is what they see first. So when they click on your landing page and head over to your offer page, it needs to correlate. So it needs to look the same. So it's so important to have a look at your offer first when you're creating your landing page. So that way when someone sees your landing page and puts in their details and they get taken to the offer page, it doesn't throw them off. It has the same correlation. So I'm going to show you the offer that I'm promoting. And then that way we can get to making a landing page from scratch. So the offer I'm promoting is my online startup and this is what it looks like. And as you can see, this is the landing page I'm going to create. So we jump straight back into a get response. I'm going to have to refresh the whole page. Sorry about this. That was a landing page I made earlier, as you can see. <laughs> I'm going to take this from the beginning so I can create a landing page from scratch. I've made so many landing pages. Okay. So that's taking me to the beginning of the page. Okay, this is the menu. So as soon as you head on to get response, it takes you to the dashboard page. If you click on menu just over here and click on landing page. Perfect. So as you can see, I make so many landing pages. <laughs> so, um, I'm, oh, a quick tip. Once you have made a landing page, if you just click on a dot dot on the side, you can duplicate. So usually you only need to make one landing page and you just keep duplicating. But then, of course, all your offers are different. And as mentioned before, you should always make your landing page correlate with your offer because your landing page is what they see first when they opt in and it takes them to your the, takes you to the offer so that you don't want to throw them off. It has to have the same sequence, okay? Cool. So let's go to create a landing page. Do you want to continue where you left off? No, I want to create a new one, please. Okay, cool. So let's go to create new one. And the one I use a lot is called Free Report because it allows me to completely change it and just kind of play about with it and make it look exactly how I want it to look. So here's Free Report over here. Click on there. You've got to give your landing page a name. So just type in any name. I'm going to call it Landing Page Testing. Let's put loads of Gs. <laughs> okay, next step. La, la, la. It's just loading. It is very, very, very quick. But while it's loading, I'm going to show you some things that I look at. As you can see, um, when I am looking for, um, when I'm looking for designing my opt-in page, I always look to change the background and the headline, and I look at what the offer looks like. So we head over here. This is the offer. So have a look at the offer. And then now, when you are customizing your page, you know what to look like what to look for <laughs> so the first thing I do over here I'm going to change that 2015 edition we don't want that and I'm going to call it 100% free so I'm going to copy because you need to have the same font and the same colour it's so important so I'm just going to copy here come on see jump back in here and make it come on me uh, I'm going to change the colour to white because as you can see on the page 
the color was white so we have to keep the same correlation so okay make it white and then I'm going to show you my blog website so this is the headline that is on the offer and it says 100% um, it says breaking news 100% free education platform where you can build your very own six figure online business and I changed it to 100% free course learn how to create a six figure online business so you can see the words and I use is almost exactly the same the font I use is exactly the same the color I use is exactly the same so anyone that is going onto my opt-in page once they opt in and go onto the offer they're not thrown off they're like yep yeah, it all goes together so they're more likely to purchase <laughs> so okay let's go back onto online startup because I want to copy some words let me copy this Come on, see, and then I'm going to change it to words that I put over here. I've left everything inside my website, so you can have a look at exactly what I'm doing. And I call it "Learn How to Create a Six Figure Online Business." Okay, so let's jump in here, and then come on, we learn how to create a six figure online business. Let's just delete this bit. Capital learn how to create a six figure online business and of course I'm going to write in smaller it's so big the writing okay let's make the writing smaller so I do that by clicking on the number just at the top over here yeah I think that looks quite nice and I'm going to click on the colors here and just click on white at the top just because the writing was white on the, the actual page going to delete that because that didn't exist okay now so we're looking at background color so we need to change the background color so you simply just double click on the background or just click on the background color and it takes you here what you need to do is where is this background image delete the background image you don't want no background image and then go on to solid color just over here so this is what I use I'm going to show you a tool that I use and it's called color pick eyedrop it's very simple to get Basically, all you have to do is head over to Google Chrome and type in Color Picker Chrome. I call it, it's called Color Picker Eyedrop, but if you type, it, type in Color Picker Chrome, it'll give you the correct thing also. So you click on Color Picker Eyedrop and it gives you the Color Picker Eyedrop. I already have it, so um, it says do I want to remove Chrome, but of course I'm going to keep it. So once I've done that, I click on Color Picker over here and I head over to Online Startup and I click on the color because I want to get the exact same color so I simply go on to the eyedrop picker and click on the color bear me one sec as you can see it colored it over there but if you didn't see what I did I'm just gonna show you one time click on the color picker and then click on a color that you like and as you can see here's a color I like blue so I need to remember what color that was what you can do is you can copy and paste it or you can type it in I type it in so I'm going to write 3085ED, yeah, 3085ED, 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 and I type in 3085ED, 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 sorry, why did I write capital ED, 3085 little ED, and then go to OK. Wait one sec, bear me with the colour. I gotta type that in. Did I type that wrong? Okay. Three O A five E D. I feel like that was the colour that wait, it was blue like that, wasn't it? But that wasn't so it's three O eight five E D. That's it. Perfect. 3085ED. The song worked. 3085ED. Okay, lovely. So now I've got the colour that I like. What I'm going to do is, with this button over here, I'm going to make the button green. I do advise making the button the same colour as the button here. And as you can see, they keep their button. So feel free to use colour picker again. Click on colour picker over there and click on this colour. As you can see, it gives the colour. I like this colour, it's nice. It's a bit of a lighter blue. 4AB8FB. 4AB8FB. So you can go on 4AB8FB. 
be on oh my days. So remember the color for a you know before I made a song. Okay, you let me help me for a. I've forgotten the color. Let me just go back and let me go back and look. I'm trying to not go back and look, but I have to. I can't remember it. Oh, uh, let's do it again. Okay, sorry, I forgot the colour. Do you know what? That song really should have been sang. I need to sing the song again, yeah? 4A... Okay, 4AB8FB. 4AB8FB. 4AB8... 4A... B... I keep forgetting the song. Okay, guys. For me to remember this colour, yeah. Let me just go back onto it. And get the colour again. 4AB8. 4AB8 FB. 4AB8 FB. Perfect. So you can see it's a bit of a lighter blue. I'm being very extra with this, but I'm just being a perfectionist. And then the writing over here needs to be white. Because as you can see, wait, let's hi highlight the writing. The reason why the writing needs to be white is because the writing was white when um, on the actual page of the offer. So we have to make it look the same, okay? Lovely. So when you're happy with that, I'm very happy with that. That looks great. Ta-da, that looks really good. 100% um, free course. Always look out for little details. I didn't write the course, which is very important. Lovely. And then as you can see on the landing page, I give you, I, give, I show you the importance of putting privacy and a privacy needs to go at the bottom on the footnotes. Privacy policy, terms and conditions, contact and income disclaimer. I give examples of all of them. So if you just simply click on any of the hyperlinks that I provide over here, it will take you to privacy policies, which you can use. Um, so you know what to put at the bottom and it simply just goes on the bottom over there. So you just copy it and put it on the bottom over there. And as mentioned before, I give you examples. The reason why this is really, really important is because um, these type of things Facebook and Google like to see on landing pages. So it's very, very important to follow that. Okay, so now we're going to jump back onto our landing page. And if we're happy with everything, I'm really happy with this. The only thing is I might move this a bit down, a bit close. Perfect. And now I'm very, very happy with this. Okay, lovely. I like, I like the correlation to the two of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks really good. Okay, cool. So when you are happy with it, head back to your landing page and go to next step just at the top corner. And it says, do you want to see what it looks like on um, editor? It's very, very important to look to see what it looks like on mobile version. And just to make it clear, um, I'm just going to click off this for a second just so I can show you something. One second. The thank you page, the, the, with this, this also comes with a thank you page. If you decide to keep the thank you page, customize the thank you page exactly how I have done it. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Bear me one second. It gives, it shows you the options thank you page. So you can change your thank you page and make it the exact same color. So exactly what I've shown you now, do the same thing on your thank you page and that will be your default thank you page. Or you can put a custom thank you page, which I'll show you how to do also. So when you're happy with that, I'm going to go to return to editor just because I want to see what it looks like perfect i'm so happy with the way it all fits it's important for it to look good on a mobile because nowadays 21st century everyone's always using everything on their mobile so you can see it looks perfect on the mobile and as mentioned with the thank you page you have the option of um changing it so here is the thank you page the exact same way you've seen me customize the landing page you can do the same for the thank you page so with changing a color and everything that you need to do to it Here's a thank you page. You want to change the colour, do exactly what I've taught you on the landing page. Perfect. So when we're happy with that, let's go on to next step. Let is, let's proceed to mobile version. Blah, 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 blah. So it's just moving on. Okay. Okay, perfect. So this page is really, really important. As you can see at the top, it says SEO um, settings. Um, the page um, title, um, description, feel free to add the description. I'll be honest, I never add a description to none of my landing pages because I send traffic to the landing page anyway. But um, feel free to add the description if you would like. And then basically your landing page URL, you have to give it a name. 
so you can call it something that is similar to the course or you can call it something that is catchy with the course and because you are using the landing page url provided by get response um they all end with gr8.com or subscribe me now.com or get response pages.com i can show you how to make your own domain so you can assign your own domain to your landing page and i can show you how to do that in another video for this purpose let's call this landing page test landing page test landing don't know if that name's been taken but we'll see yes i should have known let's call it test landing page just for the purpose of making this video oh that's been taken as well test landing pages oh perfect lovely so we're going to call it that and as mentioned before i can show you how to make your own um assign your own domain but i'll have to show you in another video it's very important to choose a list um with the list um if you don't know how to create a list i can show you how to make it make it another video but it's very simple to do. create a list and attach your landing page to a list and the reason why you do that because as soon as someone registers their name and email address it takes them to this list and when they are put in this list whatever sequence you have they can be put into that whole sequence and it's a nice way of managing okay i'm sending traffic here send them to this landing page they're in this list i've got these people very very nice with organizing it but also if you do set up a funnel or email sequence and you attach it to a list for example once you send someone from the opt-in page to this list and they're attached to this list it takes them on the sequence so it's a nice way of structure and everything it's how i do all my stuff and it works very well and then you have the option of a custom thank you page as you've created your default thank you page you can leave it as default if you create a default thank you page like the one we just that we've just made um if you want to add a custom thank you page i'm going to show you how to do that because with a default thank you page is the one that i just showed you if you want to keep that thank you page but i'm going to show you how to put a custom thank you page I'm going to show you what my custom thank you page looks like over here. Okay, so this is this extra, yeah, but it's what a lot of um, top marketers do, it's a lot of what marketers do. It's a great way to 10x your conversions. It's really, really cool to include a bridge page, and that is what I'm going to, I'm going to attach here. Maybe I'll make a video showing you how to create a big bridge page from scratch, but I'm going to add my own custom thank you page, which is a bridge page. Some people take you directly to an offer, that's also an option. Um, and some people on the thank you page put an offer in the thank you page, like on the actual page, which kind of the offer kind of goes with what they're selling. So it's like an upsell. You have all them options also. But I'm going to I'm going to attach a bridge page. And this is the bridge page. The good thing about a bridge page is it allows you to introduce yourself to the lead. So you can say whatever you want to say to them, get to know them. And it gives you more information. It, you can give the person more information about the offer. And it also lets you tell them to look out for your emails. And that way they put a face to the name. And it's kind of like you build a rapport. So it's always great to add a bridge page. And I'm going to show you how to do that. But as mentioned before, you can also add offers to your thank you page. Um, I am going to add a bridge page. So I've got one here made. So I'm just going to copy the link here. Ooh, let me copy the link. Da, 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 da. Come on, see. And I'm going to jump back in here and then just add the link for you. There we go. Perfect. And the great thing about doing that is, is all the perks that I've just told you. Um, it's very, very, also very important to think about the speed of your landing page. That is very, very, very important. Um, that's the reason why I keep my landing page very simple. If you notice, I don't, I hardly ever add pictures to my landing page because i feel like the pictures sometimes slow it down and a bit more of a distraction it's not needed keep your page nice simple collect the name email address boom ready to go take them to the offer boom nice and simple when you are happy with the page simply click publish and then when it publishes it gives you the landing page it gives you the landing page url so if i click over here it's going to take me to the page so you can see what it looks like Ta -da, ta -da beautiful so that's how you make your own custom landing page i hope that was really really useful and now you're like yep ready to go ready to make my landing page so um <laughs> that is how you do it and for staying to the end of the video as promised i'm giving you a present you are getting a free affiliate marketing course which is a brilliant comprehensive eight module course that i'm giving you completely free of charge and the link is down in the description. 